All right, hello again. Um, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about um, strings and numbers some more and how they're used. Um, there's a, a, a little bit of a difference between um, how they're used in Logo and in Python. Um, so in Logo, um, we talked a little bit about, um, well, so we know we can do things like show 5 plus 4 is 9, right? Um, in, in logo, numbers are considered words just like any other word. So if I say show um, 9, it's like, it's like saying show hello. Even though there's no quote in front of the 9, um, the way that the logo interpreter works is if it sees a number and this is and, and all the characters after this are all numbers or you know possibly a decimal point then it interprets um, that that value that string of characters as a number okay but um, also anything with a quote in front of it is is a, a word, and if if everything in the word is a number, it also interprets that as a number. So if I say, um, so I had up here, uh, show five plus four, but I could also have said show quote five plus quote four. That would also add together nine. Okay, so logo makes no distinction between numbers that are formed with a quote in front of it and numbers without a quote. That's not the case in Python. So let's take a look at um, in Code Sculptor. So here we have, um, I want to comment these out. So I just run one at a time for now. Um, so here we have print one plus two, and we know that's going to come out to be three, right? But then, and I, we, I mentioned this in one of the earlier uh, videos, when you use plus with a string, what it does is it mushes those strings together. So if I say print cow plus boy, it's going to say cowboy. It mushes it together into one word, okay? Now, um, so what if I try to print out the string 1 plus the string 2. Well, since these are seen as strings, when I say print, what did it do? 1 plus 2 is not 12, is it? It mushed together the 1 and the 2. Okay? So, um, and let's see. Actually, if you, um, there's a way to tell whether your, your variable is a, a string or a number or something else. Um, you can say, like, if, you, if I say a equals 1 plus 2 and b equals quote 1 plus quote 2, if I um, print out the type, if I say print type of a, oops. B is, I, I meant to say equals. Okay, so right here um, for the type, the type of A is a, A is an int. Okay, meaning it's short for integer. So um, this, this one's an integer because we just added two integers together. If I said print type B, so now I'm printing type A and then type B. See, type uh, B is a string. So STR is short for string. You can also have uh, uh, floats, right? If I say C equals uh, 4.2, print type C. Okay, that's a float. So a float is basically a number that has a decimal part to it. Um, you can also convert. So let's say I um, 
have a string, so I know b is a string, but I want to use it as a number. So I want to take that 1 and that 2, and I want to add it. I want to say d equals 3 plus, and I want to make well, maybe this is an easier way to do it. Let's just say d equals int b, okay, and then print d plus 3. What do you think that's going to do? Well, d, well, well, what this int does is it converts the string, because we, remember we said b is a string, it converts that string into an integer, and now we can add this integer the way we do you, you regular addition. So, this the string 1 2 will be converted into the integer 12 and then we'll add 12 plus 3 and we should get 15 so let's try that there it is okay so um, to get the type to find out what type of uh, uh, value your your variable has in it you use uh, the type function and to convert it into an integer, you can use the int function. And you can also convert a, um, a number into a string. So we could say e equals um, string a. And now if we print e plus, um, so we know a is 3, right? Because a is 1 plus 2. So if we say, but if we convert e into a string and print e plus 5 plus the string 5, then we get th a 3 and a 5, so 35. Okay, so you can convert back and forth between int and string, and um, you can make things into floats as well. Okay, so. Um, so where this become one one place where this becomes important is in um, when you're using the input function, because what the input function does is it gives you it returns a string value always. Okay, so we have input. Please tell me the first number. Input. Please tell me the second number. X and Y are both going to be strings. So what do you think this result is going to be? Okay, we know something's going to be wrong, but let's see if we're, we're going to try to add two numbers. So I'm going to say the first number is 3, and the second number is 5, so it should be 3 plus 5 is 8, right? And what does it give me? 35, okay? Because this was a string, and that's a string. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a string, and that's a string. When you do a plus between two strings, you concatenate them, you mush them together, okay? So basically, in, in um, the way you do this in Logo, if you want to mush two things together, we would say show word four, and it does that. I think we'll do the same thing if we could say this, okay? So um, to mush together two um, words in um, in logo, you use the reporter word. But in um, in Python, oops, that's the wrong Python. In Python, you um, mush together two strings with the plus, and if you have two numbers, then plus will add them together. All right, so a little tricky. Okay, so how do we fix this? Well, we got um, we we have strings here, and we want um, integers, so ints. So um, what we do is we say after we get our first number and our second number, we set x to int x. Okay, so this int x converts our x into a number, and then we assign that value back to x. Oops. Okay, and then um, with int y, we convert y from a string into a number, 
and assign that value back into y. So now when we say x plus y, I say 3 and 5. Now we get 3 plus 5 equals 8. So our result is what we wanted.